from the whole black movement, it's not one place, maybe some, somewhere. I know over at Howard, uh, they had a crew come, one crew, they had Marvin X came from Oakland, he wrote a book and they had, uh, we know each other real well. And uh, so it was Brother Uga Booga now was talking to me after, after the thing. I told him a few things that I was uh, up to. And then the guy in the movie Panther, there was a guy, guy called Bukhari. They was across on San Francisco side, and they was uh, talking about Simba, Lion, and all that stuff. Right. The guy that they were pretending, that guy, that real guy, right. was talking to me over at Howard. He said, we understand about your project. We want you to explain that to us. You know, nationalism through our view. They know about it. They said, we want you to, uh, so I told them him and Marvin X and them was there. So I said, oh, well, I'll, uh, I didn't do it because of uh, many reasons. They got a little Uga Booga school right over there, somewhere right, right around here. They're here. But uh, what we have done and what we're doing is special. And we know it's special. Okay. I don't know how else to put it. But the Islamic revival starts at the masjid. So that's kind of where we're drifting back to. We will be going to Oakland soon. We're not going to talk about what we're going to do this time. We will go to the police department and tell them that we don't like their behavior and they've been bad. We're going to tell them that three times at least. Don't make no difference whether they like it or not. But they've been messing with our life, so we're going to tell them, you have been bad. Bad, bad. If they don't take it, personally, I'm going to go and get the loudspeaker and I'll be outside. They can do what they want. They can arrest me. They can. Ignore me, usually they ignore me. I sat out in front of the police department and they just walk, they try to play like I was, what you doing playing like you can't hear me? You know you can hear me. Y'all sitting up in the car like you can't see me and can't hear me. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Uh, Islamic movement recall, meeting style, some of this we'll get into. Fainted incapacity. Does anybody know what fainted incapacity is? Yeah. What is it? It's pretending like you hurt. Yeah, pretending like uh, you, yeah. That's, uh, I'm not going to explain fainted incapacity tonight, but uh, they tried it with us and you get to learn in the symptoms or they tried to take us down and we used fainted incapacity many times. And when they looked up, they was looking right at my face every time. It's wonderful. So a lot of people would look at what's going on here and they would say, boy, that's a lonely job. That is totally incorrect. Totally, totally incorrect. Know yourself, know your enemy, thousand battles, thousand victories. I talked about McNeil Island, I talked about uh, tagging animals, they tag niggas. Ah, uh, okay. Are there any questions or comments about anything that we've talked about? Uh, 
does what we've been talking about make sense? Remember now, we've been sanctioned, just like they have sanctions and boycotts on Venezuela. They have sanctions on her, sanctions on Iran, sanctions. So what do you think we have? <laughs> so one hundred, and we're inside this boy. So the sanctions are extraordinary. If anybody is is looking at the the um, similarities between what's going on there or what has happened in history, they can see the same pattern. Yes. You know, as what's happening as what's happened here. Yeah. You know. Okay. The first stages of our job, first second stage. I don't know exactly what stage this is technically in the whole spectrum. But at, at least the second state, we have done our part in the struggle. We've done our part in the struggle and without, uh, believe it or not, the further we go along, the lighter it gets. I mean, 20 years ago, it was a little heavier than this. It was a little, you know what I mean? You, you be getting juiced up. But the farther we go to the future, the closer we get to that future, uh, the easier this gets. This is not, uh, I don't know, man. It's a job of recognition. It's kind of, it's yakinish. It's certainty. We're just certain that this stuff, it is happening, and we're doing our part. And we're engaged in it, but we're not attached to it. One reason is clear, it's the hadith. The hadith say if you have a niya to do something, if you do it, you get two blessings or 200,000, you don't know. But if you just want to do it, you get that blessing. If you just want to do right. You get the blessing for doing that. You can't get nobody's neck. That is sweet. Does this thing fall off? Okay. Yes, yeah, it's it's off. All right. So, are there any are there any questions or are there any comments? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Any questions? Any comments? Um. In the future, can we? Uh, I guess after every towards the end, just remind the, remind the viewers to share. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, I mean, they may be doing it anyway, but I think it's always good to to remind them to, to, share, uh, to share. This, yeah, look, uh, thank you very much. To not only share, but uh, review this stuff. Uh, also, uh, we're a handful of people here. This job we got to do is bigger than uh, us here, viewing this and listening to it. So uh, that recall, or the call that goes out, or all of that, that's part of uh, where we're coming from right now. Uh, and to answer the call right now, mean you might have to uh, buck boss man a little bit. Or fool boss man into thinking that boss man, I'm going to get on up there closer and I'm going to keep you up on what's going on. Whatever it is, don't make no difference. Remember, we've act, never asked for more than 10% cooperation. Can you imagine? We have never asked for more than 10% Cooperation. Whether we was talking our cyber coon, black uniform, we've never asked for more than 10% cooperation. Is that because we're brilliant? Nope. It's because we believe a lies on our side. <laughs> That's all it is. Right? I mean, you get the 
I know the shaitan couldn't make me feel this way. I know he ain't got that in him. He could make you arrogant. He could make you stupid. He could make you greedy. He could make all of that. But he cannot make you religious. <laughs> That's against it. He ain't going to work against nature. <laughs> oh, every now and then, he might, you know what I mean, uh, uh, slide a few positive things your way, to, but it's all to snare you. He ain't never, you know, doing it for the good of good. Because remember, when Allah gave him probation for a while, he said, I'll show you about that boy that he ain't no good. He ain't never been no good. And uh, I'm going to make sure you see that. Yeah, you putting your stock in him. You, you know. So anyway, are there any, uh, we definitely want our people to share these videos and what have you. Look, let's be frank. You can't find you can go scrape all over the, the country. You can't find people or, that is involved in the movement like we are here at Masjid al-Salam, the Sabakun Movement, Sabakun Liberation Organization. You can't find that other places. You just can't find it. So the other thing is, uh, mission orientated. When you get involved or when you uh, get absorbed in a real mission in life, Allah just hook you up. That, that is the hookup. When you get involved in a mission, that's the hookup. Everything else outside of that, and you don't have to be perfect. You know, even, you don't even have to be that good. You just have to want to do good, and you have to want to do right. You know, Maududi had a, a scale about the Surat al mustaqim He said, this right here is a Surat, but he had all this on the other side. He said, you wobble down the road. You don't go. <laughs> you, you say, eh, dina Surat al mustaqim Guide me and lead me on and unto the straight way. But tell the truth, if this is a Sirach, you're wobbling down the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing is, is straight. Even a razor braid, blade is not perfectly straight. It's not perfect. So we wobbling down the road, <laughs> alhamdulillah, this is a good road to be on. So let's wobble together. A couple hundred Negroes can change the world. If you want to be in that number, let's uh, kind of get started. Even 40 or 50 could affect the world, W-O-R-L-D. Do we have the experience? Yes, we saw what we can do with Oakland. We saw what we was doing right here. Each stage of the game, we was right along with it. There was never any stage that we weren't up on what we're doing, right? And when they dropped the bottom out of this last one, what, we still have massaging eight pieces of property. Other people don't have nothing. That's why, physically, they don't have nothing when it's all over. They dragged the Negroes down the street in front of everybody and said, as a hero. They can't do that with us. <laughs> we have here, we have, we have other things around that don't, ain't no sense of telling them because then they go on to mess with that. It don't have to be in our name or, you know, we have been doing, we, hey, we've been doing this so long that, uh, Boss man ain't gonna uh, forget him. He got blind spots. I don't disrespect him, but I don't respect him either. 
I don't respect him. Because he got all of this stuff and all of this stuff he could put in, and he doing stupid stuff with it. Instead of making the world a nice place, he effing the whole thing up. For nothing. There's no reason to do this. There's no reason that everybody is acting stupid. And I'll close with this. You know, I went to the dentist the other And so when I go to the dentist, they got on these programs. They got a lot of ladies on there now. They got lady people that watch them. And they talk about how stupid men are, stuff like that. <laughs> And I don't know if they got Jerry Springer and them people still on. Is he still on? I think so. I don't know, but I think But just imagine. Look at what people are looking at. And we're talking about making a new world, and they talking about the wigs. My red wig, it this and that. And then my green wig. And then I told that girl, look good. If you keep messing with me, I'm going to have my man that act funny sometime, come over and he gonna whoop your man that act funny sometime. And this is, we gonna have, I said, boy, these people are crazy, right? Now we wanna make a new world and they've been fed all that. Do you know how big a job that is? Think about it, that stuff is real. And I be sitting in the dentist chair, I said, hurry up and put the stuff on me. That stuff is worse than pulling my teeth or fixing my teeth. The stuff is worse, I'm sitting there, I said, what is that stuff? What? <laughs> you know it's, you know they're watching it. And it's unbelievable. They're not watching, uh, I'll close with this. I watched a good program the other day about Althea Gibson. Did anybody see that? I didn't see it. But she